hey everybody so I just did this look for you guys um you can use this for New Year's Eve but I actually um went off of I believe her name is Miranda Kerr or Adriana Lima I believe I can't remember which one this one this girl is that I actually um I was inspired by her makeup that she had for fashion the fashion show Victoria's Secret fashion show show for 2012 so this is what I actually came up with and I'm very very pleased with it um she's actually it's actually pretty natural and she looks like she's she's got a shiny face I imagine this was after like backstage obviously you're sweating and everything runs and everything like that so but this is what I came up with and you will see me singing and everything else like that in the video so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it I had fun doing this and yeah so I will talk to you guys in my next video bye hey everybody so Yes, I'm trying. I'm trying to like dance for you to give you a little bit of comedy, <laughs> and this is the look that we're gonna do today. So let's get started. So now I'm going to actually put some Vaseline on my lips because I have been very, very sick, and my lips are pretty dry. So, so that's the Vaseline lip therapy and cherry. And now we're gonna take the Urban Decay Primer Potion, but you can also use the NYX eyeshadow base but since we're working with a lot of Urban Decay shadows and some of them are pretty shimmery I just would rather work with this but you can surely use any eye primer that you want so now we're gonna put it all over our lid and underneath I'm gonna put some music on for you guys because this is actually what I was listening to in the video <laughs> So now we're going to take an, eye sh um, an eyeliner brush and we're going to take Buck from the Naked Palette. And we're going to try to get this close to the waterline as possible. You just don't want to like stab the brush in your eye because that hurts really, really bad. Trust me. I have done it a bazillion times. <laughs> Okay, so next we're gonna, I'm actually gonna fool around with the light, <laughs> like I am right now. So now I'm gonna take my NYX HD concealer, and this is in light, and I'm just gonna conceal my eye circles, and I'm gonna pat it with my finger, or you can actually use a... Um, stippling brush <clears throat> and that one is by Real Techniques which I love or you can use a cosmetic sponge like this which I prefer a cosmetic sponge <coughs> sorry guys I'm still sick very sick <laughs> so now I'm going to take a little bit of the buck from the naked palette and just go over underneath my waterline so now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and that's my real techniques also and I'm going to take a buck and I'm gonna put that in the crease but I'm also gonna um, bring it out to the brow bone This is a little bit of comedy for you guys. What is my... Ah, I don't know. So now we're going to take a little bit of Dark Horse in there too. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
<laughs> Even though I'm sick, I love being funny. So now we're going to take the Dark Horse and the and Buck. And I believe I have some smog on there too. And we are just going to go over where we put Buck in our crease and out near our brow bone. You want to make it more defined. And now we're going to take a fluffy brush and we're going to blend, blend, blend. Because that's what you need to do is blend, blend, blend. <laughs> And now we're going to take that eyeliner brush, and you can hear guys plowing because of all the snow. And we're going to take the Lorac Pro Palette, which you will be able to win very, very soon. And we are going to take the black, and it's a matte black. It's very, very pretty. I love it. And we are going to actually not, I want to say get it close to the lash line on the top as possible, but I know that's pretty hard because... I make mistakes too so <laughs> and it hurts like a mother <laughs> but you want to just make a little wing like so it's pretty self-explanatory so I'll let you watch so now we're gonna take a contour brush and this one is by real techniques and I'm gonna take Coralista blush and put it on the apples of our cheeks it gives such a gorgeous highlight and this is like the same exact color that she has on in the picture and now I'm gonna take my Too Faced and this is like a little uh, sample one just to contour with and you want to do just a light contour you don't want to do anything heavy because she doesn't even look like she has a contour but I just decided to contour and you really do not want to bring your contour down in your face like you contour and then you bring it down like towards your chin you don't want to do that it'll make it look unreal that sounds funny <laughs> so now i'm going to take dulce pink 01 by milani and it's a big blush and i'm going to take my bh cosmetics um fan brush and i'm just going to put i'm going to put a little bit on the brush like so and just highlight both of my both my cheeks So now I'm going to groom my eyebrows because we are going to do them, suckers. And I'm going to take my Anastasia Brow Wiz and I will let you guys see. I will put my eyebrow tutorial down below. We gonna work it out. So now I'm going to take my Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara, and I love this mascara. It gives you such nice, full, thick lashes. And if you get some on your eyelid, that's okay. Just dab it out. Why would you want to break up? And I'm actually changing the song on my phone to I Don't Like. By Chief Keith. So now I'm going to take Virgin in the Naked Palette. It's a nice matte color. And I'll show you a little trick. The va um, not Vaseline, it's the eye drops. And I'm going to put a, just a little bit on the brush. And I'm going to dab off the excess onto my sponge. And then I'm going to take the Virgin. And I'm just going to saturate it on the brush. And it'll come off with a beautiful pigmented eyeshadow, as you can see. It's pretty self-explanatory there. Look how beautiful that is. It's a lot more pigmented when you wet the brush. So now we're going to dab the excess of the Vaseline. And we're going to take... This one is kind of like... <laughs> I mean, you could bypass this one. <clears throat> because it'll actually come off the cupid's bow you can highlight the cupid's bow before or after i'm going to do it 
after and before, both before and after. <laughs> And then we're going to take Revlon's Prim Rose, which I love. This is like my favorite color of like all time. Love it. Love, love, love it. <laughs> and then we're going to take NYX the Mega Shine. And this one is in gold pink it's a beautiful color i love this i love nyx in general so and no i'm not sponsored or paid to say that <laughs> so now i'm gonna put it on my lips you can put it all over or you can dab it on it doesn't matter it's very pigmented so you can just dab it and it'll still come out pretty nice and this is a little trick that i actually just kind of like made up i never even seen okay so now we're gonna take Let's see, what brush am I going to use? I'm going to use that same brush that I put my highlight. And I'm going to take the Sinful Cinnamon by Maybelline. And I'm just going to highlight more of my Cupid's bow underneath my lip. And I'm going to put a little bit on my lip just to make it, sh you know, like pop. My lips are pretty big as it is. But I'm going to make them look a little bit bigger. <laughs> okay, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I had fun doing it. So I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.